This is the building video for the Moran Saulnier Type N, made out of foam board, Adams foam board. You're going to need three pieces of foam board, and the first thing that I do is I cut the fuselage, and then I cut the wings. The building of a wing is exactly the same as the FT Spitfire, except that it's a different shape. Once the wing is ready, you glue it on top of the fuselage and then you put the horizontal and vertical stabilizer glued as well. You put a popsicle stick at the bottom end of a plane so it can land on that and then I reinforce the fuselage with uh, sections. These, these sections they will help to produce the skin of a plane, a rounded part of it. At first I tried with rope, but the rope didn't quite uh, work as well as I thought that it would. <clears throat> I was planning on putting paper mache around, but then on second thoughts I, I thought that it was not a good idea. So I found a piece of cardboard uh, from uh, a muffin tray and I made it round with that little bottle. And the cardboard has really nice texture. So it looks like a canvas on the outside. And there I'm gluing the pieces of, uh, of skin to the plane. I did the upper part first before I put the, the rods for the elevator and rudder. Since this plane has a very short nose, I made the motor box with the battery right below it. I cut a jar of uh, Prego tomato sauce for their front round part of a cowling and install their pushing rods and the servos as much as forward as I could do. There you can see how the battery is supposed to go. And then I cover the bottom part of a plane. I use uh, masking tape to finish the seams. And there is the motor installed in the motor mount with that piece of plastic that came from that Prego bottle. I did some testings on the balancing and I realized that I had to extend the motor mount another three centimeters forward. Then I cut the, the top part of the cowling from a cardboard box the same and glue it and did the bottom as well. I left one side to be able to open it and close it to put the battery inside. I cover all of the foam parts with this uh, polyurethane and then I put paper on top of the wings and uh, glue it with uh, polyacrylic. The packing paper and the polyacrylic gives a lot of strength to the wings. Terry helped me out to build the landing gear in his vise and install it. We used uh, oil based paint for painting it since uh, most of the plane is already covered by paper and uh, cardboard. There is the plane almost ready. I had to put extra 12 ounces of lead weight in the front of the nose to get the right balance for the plane. I printed the stickers from Google and use Varathine to protect them from weather. And there is a the plane finished. And here is the gear that I use for this plane. You can use a smaller ESC. I use this one because this one was the only one that I had kicking around. Thanks for watching.